man, I, I'll just say it this way, okay? I don't want him to get suspended because I could give a shit less. Like, okay, he, he did this and Matt Ishbia fell. Like, okay, cool. But, but... But <laughs> but it wouldn't surprise me if he did either. But I don't think he will. By the letter of the law. Technically, yes. And, and Lord knows if there's a franchise that understands the letter of the law, um, it would be the Suns. Yeah. Like, mother, if this was the inbounds line, our guys did this and got suspended for a game. Like a game. Yeah. So I am not going to shed any tears if the league says, you know what? You can't touch an owner. Rules are rules. You're it's not even an game. owner. It's just anybody in that building, fan or other. It, yeah. it just so happened to be that it was Matt Ishbia, the Phoenix Suns and Mercury owner. Yeah. Like, But if it had been anybody else in that same position, it would still be the same type of law quote unquote that you would have to follow yeah so i mean that fan that came over came up from like a few rows back that put his hands on Jokic, he got tossed brendan clean of locked on suns was saying that isaiah thomas who was sitting right next to matt ishby and you can see in the video he didn't push him per se in my opinion but he put his hands on Jokic near mm -hmm. his like hips it could have just been like to keep him maybe from falling on him i don't know but brendan clean said that isaiah thomas also left i don't know I didn't really see him after that, so I'm not sure if he That's did or wild. not. That's so wild. Um, but, like, the fan got in trouble <laughs> because the rules are the rules. So if the rules are the rules, then it wouldn't surprise me if Jokic got in trouble as well. However, I do understand that the NBA writers have a lot on the line here with this one. And I'm just joking with that comment, uh, everybody, before you freak out. They don't want a superstar like Jokic to not be playing in the playoffs. I get it. Uh, per Dwayne Rankin, apparently, according to Mark N., uh, the fan was moved, not tossed. Oh, so he okay. wasn't ejected out of the building. Okay, um, and I that's guess, interesting. Yeah. So, like, listen, there's a lot of moving parts, and we could probably dissect this a million different ways and say, "Oh, look at this." Well, look at this. Like, listen, um, he, he shouldn't have. He threw a. He did throw a shiver. He did, and when you see the review from behind, it doesn't look as bad. But when you see the replay from the front. Yeah. Um, angle, it looks a little bit worse. Yeah, and so, like, and, and yeah, Matt Ishbia embellished it a little bit, for sure. But still, <laughs> like, you could you could get suspended. You you are now, you are now leaving yourself open to the NBA possibly having to get in. I don't want to see him get suspended because, again, I was so sick and tired of, oh, well, if we had Jamal Murray, right. and if we, and if they don't have Jokic, um, then... I mean, what do you do? You know, like they're gonna they're gonna use that as the reason why we beat them in this series, even though Jokic had full control over his own body. There, like, okay, I understand Matt Ishbia has the ball, but did you have to come all the way over there when your guy was already on the ground over there and like things were like a little? I mean, listen, if the roles were reversed, I would be pissed too. Like, if if we're talking about Denver's owner and like KD, I would be pissed too. Right. If the roles were reversed, because the whole purpose of him running over there, he was trying to inbound faster. I get it. And, you you know, Matt Ishbia played college ball. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, but I'm not like, going to even pretend here and act like Ishbia is totally innocent in this situation. No, no, he's not. I ain't mad at him for it. I would have done the exact same thing had I been in that chair. But Jokic has vibes. Like, he does get overly aggressive from time to time when he gets frustrated. Yes. The way he, he came over and swiped at the ball, it was just like, bro, chill out. M more than anything, it was just like when you're in, when you're playing pickup ball and somebody's like, ball up top. You're like, no, man, that was a foul. And they, like, argue back and forth and back and forth. And somebody go tries to go over there and just yank the ball out. And the other guy's just like, no. It's like a natural reaction to just, no. Like, and that's what I think Matt is. He didn't even see Jokic coming. And he was, like, involved in this. And then Jokic came to get the ball. And he was like, no, man. Like, <laughs> then it all went crazy. Like, that was the most savage thing ever. I loved every bit of I it. I mean, I did, oh, too. Man. I'm not going to lie. I, I understand why Denver fans <laughs> are upset about it. I do. But I still find it absolutely hilarious. Like, it makes me laugh so hard. And not just because the fact that it happened and I'm just, like, mind blown that that happened. Like, Nikola Jokic and Matt Ishbia getting into a kerfuffle yeah. on the sidelines. Not a single person, even the NBA writers, didn't have that one on their bingo card. Yeah. And we got 
some gems on social media because oh, of yeah, this thing that happened. Emma, pull up the first one. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so Varlock intern Lily said, when Ishbia said he wanted to be an active owner, I didn't think he meant this. Uh, Ishbia <laughs> got real active in there yeah, tonight. He, 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 uh, he knew game four was a must win, and he said, I'm going to do whatever I need to do to get this W. Uh, so says Jay, friend of the program, said, Matt Ishbia is already a legend. Amazing. Fantastic stuff. Justin Pugh got in on the action, said, hey, at Matt Ishbia, I'm in the arena and ready to protect and serve. Just let me know. I do this for a living. At Suns, just let me let me know. <clears throat> he was willing to, to put it all on the line. Yeah. He's got your back, Ishbia, that's for sure. Crazy. Jeremy Thomas said, Ishbia with the WWE flop. Yeah. Laughing face emoji. Okay, I will say, Matt Ishbia sold that. Yeah, he did. Like, Jokic definitely pushed him. He he's, gave him a forearm, but it should be a sold the hell out of it. He sold it like a walk-on. <clears throat> That's what he was at Michigan State. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Hey, it doesn't it doesn't completely leave your body when you stop playing basketball, how to take a charge and how to flop oh, right. My okay. Goodness gracious. Oh, Fantastic. and then one of my favorite ones that I didn't send you, Emma, to put in because I saw it too late came from Sarah Cazell, and she said, Matt Ishbia's money moves by the team sell. The contact. <laughs> and I was like, all right. Yeah. I'm only ever taking my financial advice from Sarah Cazell via Matt Ish or Matt Ishbia via Sarah Cazell these days. Um, that's just what it is. That's what it's got to be. I don't know if he was more <clears throat> Dylan Brooks or more CP3. I can't really tell, but mm. I'm, I'm happy with the outcome. Yeah, I'm happy with the outcome as well. I also saw that, okay, because I know we there's a lot of conversation in the chat about should he or shouldn't he get suspended. A lot of people were bringing up if the, if Jokic was Dylan Brooks, would the reaction be different? If Dylan Brooks was the one who shoved an NBA owner, yeah. would the reaction be different? Yes. And be is that fair? Because of, well, yeah, it is a little bit because of um, of their track record. You know, Dylan Brooks has has gotten in trouble a couple times um, with the league, and that's why. Like, listen, if you come in with a rep, you're not going to get the benefit of the doubt. Like, you're just not. And uh, Jokic, for all accounts, has not been, like, egregiously dirty. I mean, he he's, did get tossed the last time. He's subtly dirty. Him, He, he literally Jokic tried is, to karate chop campaign space. I know, but he's like, he tries to get away with it and try to be like, oh, no, I'm just playing basketball. Like, no, you're not, dude. Like, he clamps arms. He tries to hurt guys sometimes out there. He's he he's the bigger version of CP3, and CP3 is not as aggressive as Jokic is. Jokic gets physical with guys when he gets frustrated. Yeah. CP3 is just crafty and tries to take your knees out. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the question. It, it'll be interesting to see what comes of all of this, if anything at all. Um, maybe what officials say or the yeah. NBA as a whole and how they kind of handle this situation. But it's definitely an interesting thing that we'll have to keep an eye out on. 